Good morning, everybody. It's me. I can't see without glasses. I need my readers. Okay. I am shaving my hair off. I have a thinning spot in the back of my head. Back in uh, May, I think it was May, um, I had a UTI in the beginning of the month. And I called, my doctor came out, gave me medicine. He gave me antibiotic for one week. Then he did, um, at the end of the um, antibiotics, he did a, another urine sample, and I still had a UTI. So he gave me Levaquin, 750 milligrams, for another week. Take Levaquin twice a day. The sec by the second day I took the Levaquin, I was feeling so sick. I was throwing up. I just didn't have no energy. I called him up, and I said, look, I'm not feeling good. He goes, oh, it's working, it's working, continue taking it. I am homebound. I am still waiting for my power chair. It's been over two and a half years. The company screwed me over, so anyway, that's another long story. So back to the Levaquin. So um, I did what my doctor said, and the doctor's not really a real doctor, he's a PA. So I did what he said, and by the end of the week, I was so weak, I couldn't get off the toilet. I was on the toilet for almost a half hour. I have a physical therapist that comes over every other day. Well, yeah, twice a week. She came into the house and I said, I said, I can't get up. I just can't, I need help. She took my blood pressure. My blood pressure was like 112 over 60. And I was freezing, I was shivering, I was cold. And she goes, you gotta go to the hospital. I said, okay. And um, I did go to the hospital before, like what, a couple days before that. And the hospital turned around and said, oh, you're fine. Just go home. You're fine. So I came home and I still took the, took the Levaquin like they prescribed. My, my physical therapist came by. She said my blood pressure was low and that my, I, was, I had a fever of 101. So we called the paramedics and my husband was at work. I have a daughter. She was here and I was... She, she had to call 911 for me. And that was heartbreaking to see my daughter be stressed. So I got to the hospital and in the, um, they had a hard time finding my veins. They had to put an IV in my thumb because that's the only vein they could found. I should have taken pictures of all the blue, all this, the, where they were trying to poke me to find um, a vein to put an IV. They put in eight saline bottles in within the first half hour I was there because I was so dehydrated and then took like a what two days later they um finally put a pick line in me so they told me that I had C. diff which means that all the good bacteria in my stomach was um gone because the um antibiotics killed all the good bacteria so oh I don't wish C. diff on anybody that is the worst thing you could ever have it felt like an alien was in my stomach I kept saying it felt like blue I had gas pains I felt like I had to you know go to the bathroom and it just like I just wanted someone to just stick a damn enema up my ass and let me shit it just hurt so bad you could feel the gas bubbles and it hurt so bad so when I was in the hospital and God bless those nurses and the, my CNA and of course I would have a male CNA I got so sick. The first day I, I was throwing up, I threw up all over everybody. Well, myself, because I didn't want to throw. And I was like, I don't feel good. I'm gonna throw up. They couldn't give me a bucket fast enough. I had to. I threw up, and it just projectile all over me. And they had to keep cleaning me. And then the diarrhea started. That is the worst. You do not know when it's gonna come. You just feel blah blah blah, and you're like, it comes all over. I, I was in bed, literally in bed, because they would not really let me out of bed for over two months. And I hated that because I, I need to get up. I need to sit up. I need to do something. I just can't stand being in bed. So I went to re. I was in the hospital for over a month and a half. They finally put me in rehab. I was in rehab for a month. And then more, I, I was still continuing the IV treatments and all that. And I was in isolation all this time. So, you know, someone come in my room, it's the nurse or somebody. I was always happy to see them. Rosie stopped by and D-Dubs was in the car and I was like, he could have came in. Yeah, I know you have to suit up and everything, but it was just like so nice to have people come by. And um, so 
I got home finally about um, about a month ago and my hair, I brushed my hair and it was like my hairbrush was full. I'm like, are you serious? And I'm thinking, well, it's my thyroid. I do have a thyroid condition. Here's my thyroid medicine. I am on a high dose of a thyroid because I have no thyroid. So I thought it was my lot thyroid and my doctor says, no, your thyroids are fine. So I'm thinking back, well, I talked to my mother-in-law and said, well, I was on a lot of antibiotics and when I was in the hospital, my taste buds went. I could not taste my food. I was like, I, yeah. I was like, I don't even know what to eat. And so my mother-in-law and I talked and I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna shave, you know, cut my hair or shave. She goes, if you shave off all your hair, it will grow back. I'm like, I, I know. And she goes, you're gonna be okay with that. I'm like, yes. So she's gonna come by today and we're gonna finish shaving my hair. And I know it's gonna come back. I'm not, I'm not doing this for any sympathy or anything. I still don't have a power chair. It's been over two years. I'm waiting on Medicare to properly approve me because the first company that brought me a power chair screwed me over and they um, they messed up Medicare. They charged Medicare $30,000 for a chair that I couldn't use. You know, and then when you have people jumping up and down saying they have fibromyalgia and, and um, people in the, that have a disability that can sit on their ass and walk, that sit in a van, piss me off, that can get money, you know, out of dropping a hat, walk through shit and come out and smell like roses. I just, I just love that. I just love seeing people do that. So, sorry, I just... You know, when you try to walk the street, you, you be honest, you get shit on. And it's just amazing how these people go just walk through shit and get everything thrown at them. Here, here's money, here's money. Oh, you need help? Here, I'll help you. But it's okay. It's okay. So anyway, I have been taking a lot of vitamins. I've been taking my vitamin C. And um, I've been watching Missy Jen. And she was talking about this morning something morning gaga or something i forgot what it's called but anyway i read up on it and i'm, I'm looking forward to see, trying that because i get up and my i have arthritis and my doc my doctor my pa he can't prescribe anything to me he can't um because i have to go see a, a, a arthritis doctor or a, you know maybe a rheumatoid arthritis doctor i'm so stiff in the morning it's, he can't prescribe me anything to help. And the only thing I take is Motrin. And I don't want to mess up my liver. I don't want to mess up my stomach. I'm just so scared about anything anymore. I'm just so scared. I'm scared to get sick. I don't want to get... This last time, I was dying. I really did. I was dying. And the only thing I kept thinking about is, I got a daughter. I got a daughter. I got to be here for her. The husband I can replace, but the daughter I can't. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, this is for Kaylee R. I love you, honey, and thank you for being concerned, honey. But I'm okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm depressed, but I have to shave my hair because I want new hair to come in and, and be healthy, you know. Um, I've just been through a lot this past year. and I've been through a lot, and it's just a medical condition. It's nothing major. It's just it's just my body's got to replenish itself, and, and that antibiotics, boy, it really... To, antibiotics put me in the hospital and then the antibiotics help clear, cure me you know but anyway guys I will show you when my mother-in-law comes hopefully she'll come today yes yeah, she said she's coming today and maybe I can record her and um I'll have her yodel <laughs> she's so cute she's German she's so cute I love her I'm so blessed with her she really is good people to me anyway guys I love you I love you Uber I love you Missy Jen Rosie and um Kaylee, thank you again. Guys, keep up the good videos. I love you. Take it easy. Bye.